In the aging population of today, dementia, urinary incontinence, balance and gait disturbances are common problems. These symptoms are part of the normal aging process, but they are also the main symptoms of the disorder normal pressure hydrocephalus or NPH. NPH follows from a disorder in the fluid surrounding the brain and spinal cord, and it is believed that up to 6 to 10 percent of all patients having dementia are actually suffering from NPH. Cerebrospinal fluid is produced within the brain, circulates around the brain and spinal cord, and is finally reabsorbed into venous blood. Among other things, the LICFOR instrument estimates the rate of reabsorption of cerebrospinal fluid into the blood, and if the absorption is malfunctioning, the patient is likely to improve from shunt surgery. The LICFOR instrument is also invaluable in the investigation of patients that have been treated with a shunt to find out if the implant is working properly or not. This investigation can determine whether a patient should be reoperated or not. When NPH or shunt failure is suspected, an infusion test using the LICFOR instrument is performed by placing two lumbar needles into the spinal canal, below the spinal cord. By regulating the pressure in the cerebrospinal fluid to several different levels, the absorption can be estimated in a rigorous way including descriptive statistical parameters. The investigation takes approximately one hour and during that time the patient is lying in the supine position in a relaxed way, not uncommonly sleeping through parts of the investigation. In addition to the recommended constant pressure method, there are six automated and five manual protocols, including constant infusion and bolus algorithms to allow for a diversity of investigations to be made. All data analysis are performed in real time. Estimated parameters are presented on screen during the investigation and in a written report as soon as the investigation is finished. The LICVOR instrument is based on 30 years of research at Umeå University and Umeå University Hospital, Sweden.